What's up everybody, it's Joe here with Joseph Blake Photography and in today's video we're going to be talking about an update that came out today and another update that'll be coming out in the fall for Luminar Neo, the photo app that is kind of a competitor to Lightroom and Photoshop and now even more of a competitor to Lightroom when you see these updates. All right, everybody, real quick, I'm Joe. This is Joseph Blake Photography. This is my channel where we talk about tech and gear and tips and tricks and news and reviews and rumors and adventures and everything that has to do with content creation, whether it's here on YouTube or if you're doing outside stuff or if you're doing weddings or if you're just taking videos of your friends jumping off sick jumps with their mountain bikes. I love to talk about it here and that's what the channel is about. So if that's the kind of thing that you're into, go ahead and hit subscribe. And if at the end of the video you think I've done a good job, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button. Social links all down below, but we'll talk about that at the end of the video. Today we're talking about Luminar Neo. They make a product that is, it's a little bit Photoshop, a little bit Lightroom. So if you've never seen their stuff before, it's actually a pretty cool product. I use it both on its own and as a plugin for Lightroom and Photoshop. So if I've got something that I wanna do either a quick edit to, or if there's something really specific that there's a tool for uh, in their Neo product that I want to throw my image into, I keep that in there as a plugin option. But the two big pieces of news are that today, August 15th, I don't know when this video is gonna come out, but this weekend, there's a new update to their two generative AI features that they have built into the Neo product. And those are Gen Erase, Gen Swap, and Gen Expand. Gen Erase, uh, pretty self-explanatory, you can erase stuff. And it'll use generative fill uh, or generative AI to fill in that spot. I use this all the time. And I did a video recently about the Magic Erase magic healing brush that they added into Lightroom and how honestly I don't very much like it. <laughs> I think it's slow. The Neo version is actually really good and it's really fast. Gen Swap uh, allows you to honestly swap out and remove objects. So you can add things like trees or rocks or especially on the landscape side you can add things that weren't there or that maybe they were there when you were there but you don't. You can add stuff. Uh, whether that's something you want to do to your photos is up to you. I'm normally taking things away and Gen Erase is normally a pretty cool tool for that. The other one is Gen Expand, which if you've ever shot in kind of a tight situation or maybe you didn't get the shot in the aspect ratio that you wanted or you had to crop to remove some unwanted framing issues and then you want to expand just a little bit, maybe to hit that four or five uh, Instagram ratio, Gen Expand is there for you. And those generative tools got a big update this week. I'm gonna do a full deep dive on those, I think next week, uh, and I will get those to you and report. I've played with them a little bit, but I wanna get that to you next week once I've had a chance to really play with it. But they did get an update this week. And that's one thing about uh, this product is that they just kind of keep updating it over time and they keep sending you better versions. But speaking of better versions, uh, we will be getting an October update, a 2024 October, mid-October fall update to Neo. And while I do not have the product in my hands to test and show you, we do generally know what's gonna be coming in this update in the fall. Number one is going to be a new feature that they're calling color transfer. And we've seen stuff like this before, but I did have an opportunity to see this in action. The folks over at Skylum were nice enough to demo this product for us in an early beta. There'll be a, another beta out in September that I will be able to take advantage of and show you once I have it. But Color Transfer does two things. It lets you match the color of two different photos, but it also has an option to do what's called object transfer, where if there's something like the sky or a water or uh, something in the image that's like a major component of the image, you can actually match it from image to image. Now that works better, they told us, that works better if these two images are similar, but if you were shooting, for example, a lake scene and you wanted to try to closely match uh, in another photo, you would be able to do that uh, with another landscape shot, especially if you wanted to match things like the sky from shot to shot. Next is something called color masking. So there's a lot of tools in Neo that you can use to augment your photos and edit them and add a lot of pop. 
and a lot of structure. You can add a lot to your photos. <laughs> Sometimes you can add too much too. You can totally just rip up your photos and light them on fire if you do too much. But with each of these tools, you now have the ability or will have the ability to use color masking. So if you want to use specific color ranges to change how much of the image or which areas of the image you're manipulating, you can do that now with color masking. And the other half of this update is on the catalog side. It also acts as a catalog app. So if you're someone who has used Aperture or Lightroom or any of the other apps out there that allow you to catalog your images in a library, in a browsable library, this has that feature now, but they're adding a considerable amount of features to the new version that's gonna be coming out in the fall. So the first is Smart Search. Uh, they say that this is AI driven. Uh, we saw this in action. It looked pretty cool. You can search for birds and it shows you every photo of birds. It feels a lot more like the Photos app on your iPhone or on your Android phone uh, or something in the cloud that is you know, Google Photos related than it does say an Adobe Lightroom. They are also adding film strip view while you're in the edit mode. So you'll be able to see all of your images down at the bottom. Again, making it feel a little bit more like some of those other apps that you might use to catalog your photos. Also coming in the catalog mode are stars and ratings, the ability to sort and filter your folders, the ability to create virtual copies of your images, and the filtering system is pretty cool. Uh, in the most modern versions of these catalog apps, I struggle with being able to filter things. For example, I was doing a review video of the, of the Canon RF 14 to 35 F4, and I wanted to pull up all the photos that I had taken with that uh, lens. And while that is not terribly difficult, I realized while I was in there, like, what if I wanted to look at things by aperture? Or what if I wanted to look at things by focal length? Nope. What if I wanted to say, okay, show me everything that I shot at 14 millimeters. You cannot do that in current iterations of Adobe's products, but you will be able to with this update in the fall. Now you might say, okay, but that's in the fall. Uh, why do I care now? Well, again, the gen fill, gen erase stuff did get updated today. So again, I'll do a video about that coming up. But if this is something that you're interested in, if you're looking to potentially either add a catalog app or a photo editor to your repertoire, or you are looking to jump ship from one of those other products, I do have a uh, discount link down below. It does knock down the annual subscription down to 80 bucks, uh, which is cheap. So 12 months for 80 bucks, or you can get the lifetime subscription, uh, which is 139 with the, the link that I have down below. Uh, so there's a pretty big discount there. But this isn't like having a lifetime subscription, right? This is almost more like just buying the product as is, but they guarantee that you will get the next two updates. So if you buy the lifetime version now, you will get the October update. And then there's another update that's gonna come in the spring that I don't know anything about, but I know it's coming. Uh, you'll get that one as well without having to pay anything more. Now, if you're already a lifetime member, uh, you actually will still get some of the catalog improvements. You just won't get the new smart search and you won't be getting the new color and, and object match stuff. If you're already a subscriber though, you'll get all this stuff for free. It's just gonna come to you at the, uh, the mid-October timeframe is what they're telling us. You also get a ton of their creative add-ons uh, with the annual subscription. You also get a bunch of their training stuff and any upgrades or improvements during that time frame. I, I got the links down below to save a couple bucks on this if this is something that you're interested in. I'm gonna play with these tools for a little while, but I, just, I feel like we've been talking about the fact that there's not a lot of competition in this market for photo editing apps, especially ones that have a catalog built in and uh, something I've been looking for as a potential alternative. Uh, so I may give this a swing. We'll give it a shot and see how it goes. I'm really kind of curious to see if this is maybe the answer to my woes. But let me know down in the comments if you're already using this, if you plan to switch, or if this is something that interests you. And of course, if it is, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit the bell to turn on notifications when I send you a new video. Hit the like button to let the algorithm know that I'm doing a good job and that this is the right type of content that I should be making. 
Follow me on all the socials if you can. I'm still reworking some of my stuff like Facebook and Instagram and I'm trying to figure out how threads works and TikTok just scares me, but I'm there anyway. And of course, all of those things are things that you can do that are free that help the channel. You can also follow me over on my blog over at jblake.photo forward slash blog. Follow me on your RSS reader of choice. Not a whole lot there. I'm still working on building that up, but uh, once I start adding stuff, there'll be resources and things like that. And if you really want to support me, you can go ahead and purchase a membership. I've got two membership tiers. I am releasing some of my content just a little bit early. I'm also going to be doing lives and chats and stuff like that probably once a month for my members as that starts to grow. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Let me know down in the comments what you think, and I will see you in the next one.